understand. And one part as a, as a farmer and as someone who is very conscious of loss of agricultural land, there will be some loss of agricultural land here. And that is somewhat contentious, but, but as you will recall, um, the official opposition uh, under my name, we proposed something called an agricultural impact assessment. The government voted against it, said it was too much red tape. But I would, I would put forward, just in my mind, how this would have worked with, on this project. Yes, there is going to be agricultural land lost, but there is also, on one side, there is a huge benefit. So is there a bigger benefit for, for this project as a whole compared to the, 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 the production capacity that's lost? And I think, I don't, have, I don't have purview to everything that we're looking at, but the closeness, the proximity to the 401, the proximity to the town, the, the size of the project that is needed, the land that is needed. In my mind, just, and I obviously, the way I would see that process going, it wouldn't take years, it wouldn't take, it would block, click, 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 yes. So I, there is going to be, there is going to be some opposition regarding the loss of land, but I think that likely this project, the, the benefits of this project, if it is, if it is for um, batteries for electric vehicles, we all know where, where the, the car manufacturing sector is going. We all want the car manufacturing sector to succeed. We all do, regardless of where we are in the province. Yes, we do. And then the Minister of Environment questions that, but believe it or not, we, we all want this province to succeed. So if you take that, the benefits, I think, would, knowing what we know now, after 20 some hours, the benefits would likely outweigh the loss of agricultural land. I, I'm, I'm saying that. I don't know because I, I, don't, I haven't had that long to look at the bill. And, but that's, that's where I am. And that's where I think we are. So, having said that, and we've, heard, we've had a few uh, um, comments about where we stand on this bill, and I'm, I'm gonna go way out on a limb here, okay? <laughs> way out on a limb, and we're gonna support this bill on second reading. The mining sector, and the Minister of Mines will know this very well, is, is I'd say, booming. There's lots of discoveries, there's lots of, and much of that is going to be working into the car sector. The nickel, uh, and also in the processing, in my riding, the um, Electro, Bat Electro Battery Materials Corporation, right, is going to be refining. And it is encouraging that Northern Ontario is going to play a role in the electric car industry, in the electric vehicle industry. Northern Ontario always played a role in, in the car industry. A lot of the iron and steel came from Northern Ontario. That's, but now we're going to play, hopefully, a bigger role. So please don't think that those of us who don't come from Southwestern Ontario don't care what happens in Southwestern Ontario, because we do. Because it impacts everyone in this province in this country. It does. I recognize the member for Scarborough Agent Court. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. I always enjoy listening the depth and the analysis of the member from uh, Timiskaming Cochrane. And of course, he has uh, the experience and the wealth of knowledge, and of course, being member of this house for a long time. And I understand his concern regarding losing farmlands. But the interesting aspect that I personally discovered during the uh, Finance Committee pre-budget hearings in Windsor, we had a representative from the farm industry and they brought to our attention that because of climate warming, many of the lands in the north 
are opening now for farming. And he brought his own personal experience. He's using now... Question. The question is that, do you share this farmer opinion that it is not all doom and gloom by losing uh, farmlands and we have other opportunities to explore the northern uh, uh, lands for farming. Back Has to the this member farmer done? For response. I really appreciate that question. As a proud farmer in northern Ontario for the last uh, 35 years, I, am, I don't have any doom and gloom about farming, certainly not in northern Ontario or southwestern Ontario. I think every acre of farmland is precious and has to be treated that way. We can't just, there is a lot of potential in Northern Ontario, but don't think that you can just transfer what you produce here or south of here, and we're not going to be growing field tomatoes in Temiskaming anytime soon. There's a lot of things we're not going to be growing. We're not going to be growing 200 bushel an acre corn. We grow silage corn. It, we are way far away from growing profitable grain corn in Northern Ontario. We are way far away from growing consistently safe soybeans. We have early frost, we have wheat grow soybeans, great soybeans. But every acre, every acre is precious. 